early visions of wireless power actually were thought of by Nikola Tesla basically about 100 years ago. The thought that you wouldn't want to transfer electric power wirelessly, no one ever thought of that. They thought, who would use it if you didn't? And so what happened back a few years ago was a group of theoretical physicists at MIT actually came up with this concept of transferring power over distance. Basically, they were able to light a 60-watt light bulb at a distance of about two meters successfully. This was actually the experiment. So you can see the coils were somewhat larger. The light bulb was a fairly simple task from their standpoint. This all came from a professor waking up at night to the third night in a row that his wife's cell phone was beeping because it was running out of battery power. Is take a couple minutes and show you actually how it works. And um, what I'm going to do is, to show you pretty much what's here, you've got a coil. That coil's connected to a RF amplifier that creates a high frequency oscillating magnetic field. We put one on the back of the television set. By the way, I do make it look a little bit easier than it is. There's lots of electronics and secret sauce and all kinds of intellectual property that go into it. But then what's going to happen is it'll create a field. It'll cause one to get created on the other side. And if the demo gods are willing, in about 10 seconds or so, we should see it. The 10 seconds actually are because we, I don't know if any of you have ever thought about plugging a TV in when you use just a core, generally you have to go over and hit the button. So I thought we put a little computer in it that has to wake up to, to tell it to do that. So I'll plug that in. It creates a magnetic field here. It causes one to be created out here. And as I said, in sort of about 10 seconds, we should start to see this is a commercially A, com a commercially available color television set. Imagine you get one of these things, you want to hang them on the wall. How many people want to hang them on the wall? Think about it. You don't want those ugly cords coming down. Imagine if you can get rid of it. The, the other thing I wanted to talk about was safety. So there's nothing going on. I'm OK. And I'll do it again, just for uh, safety's sake. Almost immediately, though, people ask, how small can you make this? Can you make this small enough? Because remember, Dr. Soyacic's original idea was his wife's cell phone beeping. So I wanted to show you something. We're an equal opportunity uh, designer of this sort of thing. This is a Google G1. You know, it's the latest thing that's come out. It runs the Android operating system. I think I heard somebody talk about that before. It's on, it has a battery. It also has coil and electronics that Ytricity has put into the back of it. And if I can get sort of the camera, yeah, okay, great. You'll see as I get sort of close, you're looking at a cell phone powered completely wirelessly. And I, and I know some of you are Apple aficionados, so you know, they don't make it easy at Apple to get inside their phone, so we put a little sleeve on the back, but we should be able to get this guy to wake up too. And those of you that have an iPhone recognize the, uh, the green uh, center, and, um, and Nokia as well. You'll see that the, what we did there was put a little thing in the back uh, to do that. And it probably beeps, actually, as it goes on as well. But the screen, typically, you use it to light up the screen. So imagine these things could go, they could go in your ceiling, they could go in the floor, they could go actually underneath your desktop, so that when you walk in or you come in from home, if you carry a purse, it works in your purse. You never have to worry about plugging these things in again and think of what that would do for you. So I think.